In this video, I will introduce what this notation here means. Now, each of these are individual sets, each of these, and I will introduce in this video what they, what each of these means. All right, now, if you're saying to yourself, hey, what is the, what's the AI there? That's a good question. I haven't really defined that yet. So let me do that now. So for an example, let's say that AI is the set, so A subscript I is the set one, two, three, up to I. So that would mean that A five is the set one, two, three, four, five. All right, something like that. All right, so now let's look at, um, as, a new, as a new example, Let's look at uh, the first one where we had the union from i equals one to five of ai. What this notation means is you want to start at one. So you have a one union, a two union, a three union, a four union, a five. go like this. Okay, now A1 is just the set with one in it. A2 is the set one, two. A3 is the set one, two, three. A4 is one, two, three, four, and a five is one, two, three, four, five. Now, in the Zy book, they probably use a, AI for something else, all right? And so you might see AI defined in a different way somewhere else. It's really just based on the context. But for this example here, I'm using um, AI as I've defined it earlier. And that is, it's one, two, three, up to I. All right. So now, so what is this? All right. So just take, uh, take these first two together. What is the union of these two sets? All right. So it's all the things that are in A1 or in A2. Okay, well, that's just the set A2. Remember, in sets, repeats are counted as one. So the set 1, 1, 2 is the set 1, 2. Okay, now let's look at these two, A2 and A3. Okay, what are these, what's, what's, what are elements that are in A2 or in A3? You got it, it's A3, right? If you say, what's in A2 or in A3, it's really just all the things that are in, in A3. So here we have A3 union, A4 union, five. And you could see over time, let's see, A3 and A4, what do they have in common? Just all the things that are in, uh, or not, what do they have in common? What's in, what's, uh, what's in A3 or in A4? Well, just as all the things in A4. What's all the things that are in A4 or in A5? It's all the things that are in A5. So this is A5. Now contrast that to the intersection from i equals one to five ai. This is a one intersected with a two, intersected with a three, intersected with a four, intersected with a five. So first, just look at those two. 
what's the intersection of a1 and a2? Right? This is the this is what's common to both of them. Well, one is common to both of them, right? Now is two common to both of them? No, so it's just that. So now that's a1, right? So this is a1 intersect a3 intersect a4 intersect a5. And now continuing again, let's say, okay, well, what does A1 and A3 have in common? A1 and A3, right, what do they have in common? They just have A1. And continuing in this way, A1 and A4 only have A1 in common. And A1 and A5 only have A1 in common, so this is A1. All right, now let's first look at the infinite intersection. So we're going to intersect from I equals 1 to infinity AI. This is A1 intersected with A2, intersected with A3, intersected with A4, and we just keep doing that forever. So now we're saying, well, what is that? Right. So now think about this, right? So you could think about them all on the whole, or you could just kind of go uh, like I have been and just say, okay, what do these have in common? Once you figure that out, then think about what that what those have in common, um, whatever you figure out this is here, say, okay, what does that have in common with A3 and so on? Okay, so A1 intersect A2, this is, remember A1 is just the set with only one in it, as I've defined it just for this video. Okay, so these have in common just the one, which is A1. Now, think to yourself, okay, now what about these two? Well, let's see. A1 intersect A3. Well, that's just going to be the set containing only one, which is A1. So we get A1 intersected with A4, intersected um, on and on and on. The dot, dot, dot implies that we have A4 intersect. Oh, sorry, that was... A5, right, we had A4 there, four, A5, A6, and so on. All right, well, it's the same thing is going to happen over and over again, right? When we put in A1 intersect A4, what happens? We put a 4 there, and still the same thing. We just get A1. So you can see that if we were to carry on in this way forever and ever, the only thing they all have in common is the set containing one. This is A1. Okay, now let's look at the, the infinite union. This is A1. Union A2, Union A3, Union A4, Union A5, Union, continuing on like that forever. So first let's just look at those two. A1, Union A2, right, this is that, Union with 1, 2. So what's so you say to yourself, okay, is one in A1 or 
in A2? Yeah, it's in both. Is 2 in A1 or in A2? Yes, it's in A2. So this equals A2. So now we have A2, union A3, union A4, union A5, union, and continuing on like this for, okay? All right, so now we'll look at these, okay. This is A2, union A3. So now we have two and three, So one is in A2 or A3, two is in A2 or A3, and three is in A2 or A3. It equals A3. So we just keep doing this, right? It just, if we were to keep doing this over and over again, let's see. Um, maybe I'll do one more. Not too much though. We get A3, union A4, union A5. Don't forget there's more out here, A6, and so on. So each one of the, each time we do this, it just gets bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger, right? It's, it's like uh, uh, looking at A1 and A2 just gave us the A2. Right? Remember, um, A2 and A3 gave us A3. So putting A1 with A2, that gives us the set 1, 2, putting, which is A2. Putting A2 with A3, that gives us the set 1, 2, 3. Now putting these two together, right, we're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, the set A4, right. Uh, putting, the, putting that together with A5, we're going to get the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Putting that together with A6, we're going to get the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you can see over and over and over again, if we just do this over and over and over again, what happens, right? We're going to get the set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on, like that. Well, this is Z plus.